Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and about and uh, do some questing, starting with the next spire out in Revelwood. Um, before we get started with that, though, a couple things. I um, I finally have my new system. I uh, built it all yesterday and spent uh, many hours testing and getting everything situated. It seems to be running pretty good now, um, and I haven't, uh, I haven't yet done any editing with it uh, but I did render some videos from earlier and it's it's much faster than it used to be which is uh, just huge for me in terms of saving time uh, so we got that going on and as as a result by the way I have uh, I've got max graphics on now uh, so everything is basically uh, uh, wait no I thought I had max quality on now I do <laughs> I set that earlier but apparently didn't didn't take um, so yeah, well, we have top end graphics going on here now. Um, I've got uh, HW Info 64, which is a hardware monitor, up on the other screen, just kind of watching the, the processor temperature and stuff like that. Uh, and it seems to be doing pretty good. Um, most games in an ideal situation, um, at least for, for Intel processors, anyways, um, should run around six from 60 to 70. And uh, you know, it's obviously it's fluctuating, but it seems to be uh, staying. Um, right, right around 60, 60 to 70. So that's good. Uh, anyway, uh, and by the way, for those of you who don't know, uh, I did upgrade my system uh, with an Intel i9 uh, 49700K uh, processor. We got 64 gigs of Trident, uh, G-Skill Trident, um, DDR5 RAM. I'm running a, a GTX 4070 Ti Super card. Um, and yeah, so anyway, Got a new system and uh, very happy uh, for that. Second thing I wanted to show you is that um, we can now make the, oh, where's my alchemist? He's over here. Uh, we can now make the large health potion, but we need camo meal, which we did find in the last episode. And so what I did was I went and planted a bunch of that uh, over at the farm area, which, you know, we're, we're utilizing those fields for the time being. Um, at least until uh, Keen Games fixes the um, the issue with the uh, with the rake, which doesn't look like they have yet. So, oh, actually, no, the rake is supposed to be. We talked about this, I think, in the last episode or maybe two episodes ago. Uh, where if we go to journal and to here. We should see the rake under survival, but it's still not there. So obviously they haven't fixed that. I haven't played in a, in a couple of days because I've been, um, you know, busy putting the new system together. All right. So yeah, it looks like uh, this stuff's not quite ready, but um, all of these little daisy looking things are chamomile uh, plants. So very cool. All right. Let's go ahead and teleport to our um, flame altar that we put right next to the spire and we'll start uh, going through that spire. I don't know how long it'll take us, but if we can get through it, you know, in a reasonable amount of time, we might be able to tackle another quest uh, too before it's all said and done. Um, all right, here we go. Let's do this. Ancient Spire Revelwood. And uh, as as I mentioned in the last episode, this is actually only the second spire we've done so far. Uh, we also have the one over uh, to the west that I, I'm. If, if I don't get a quest for it pretty soon, I'm just going to do it. Um, all right, so I don't think I'll mess around right now with breaking jars. Um, that's that's something I can just do off camera. So let's just get through the spire itself. Uh, these, well, at least the first one I did is basically a big puzzle tower. So I'm assuming this one's going to probably be similar. Okay, so we're going to have to find two buttons to open that door. Um... Let's go in here first, I guess. Oh, that's new. Wow. One of them bounces back. Hmm. Oh my goodness. There's a bunch of them in there. So I think what we do here is we get in the middle and then we follow the one b bouncing back and stay in the center. That would appear to be the case. So let's go now. 
This is nuts, oh man. Okay, and then let's pop out here for a second. Okay, nothing's out there. Oh, does one bounce back that way? In the center? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a cool puzzle. <laughs> I like that. Um, especially since we didn't get uh, hurt by it. There's some metal sheets. I'll take that. I will take that for sure. Um, and here's our first button. All right, cool. And that leads us back out to here. Very nice. Um, okay, so this... That's where we started. All right, now let's go this way. Oh, no, that's the door we have to get open. Uh, so we go this way next. More zappity zoos. Zappity doodles. I think we can just do this. There we go. Um, all right, anything out here? No, now we have more fire puzzles. So that's just two. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess we're going to go around to the left. There we go. And that's the second button. Beautiful. All right. Do we get a, a freebie on the way out of here? Ooh. Uh, look up. Is there anything up? Well, that makes this a little more uh, complicated. Let's get the torch out so we can see better. Um, all right. What we're going to do is this. Oh, shit. I forgot about that room. <laughs> All right. We're good, man. And so that should open this door into the next section. And up we go to the next level. There's some bricks. We'll take that. I wonder if the, this spire has, um, you know, a little bit higher level loot because it's in a higher level location. That would makes sense to me and bricks are definitely a higher level item all right we have a button over there we have to do four buttons and a button over in there okay, let's do the left one first Can we activate these with the wand? Yeah, we can. Nice. There's some wax. I think that's... We got to get around that corner there. Uh, no, actually. Hold on. This is where we came in. We already did the one to the left. Yeah, we got to do the one to the right now. I'd rather use the wand because then it saves it saves us on arrows, you know. All right, let's see if there's anything out here. Nothing but jars. All right. We'll also pop out here. Got some salt. And I guess we go straight ahead. And we got a climbing wall. Didn't miss anything behind us, did I? I uh, don't think so. Let's go this way. Oh! No. That's not what I wanted to do. That, it kind of creeped me out because I wasn't expecting it. But that happened. Uh, okay, we got a thingy here. And that gets us to a chest. Wizard boots. Plus two health regeneration. Um, that doesn't suck. What are we wearing right now? Plus one stamina regen. Those have one less physical, but 15 more magical. 
let's try them and if I feel like my stamina is running out too quickly we'll we'll go back to the what we had before okay all right across this way don't see anything through here another chest this is new I haven't seen the flail before does 43 damage oh this must be a, a two-hander um, if it does that much damage yeah it is okay look at that beast all right um yeah I'm I'm not interested in that Let's salvage it for the for the stuff Okay, so we came across that way. Nothing, uh, yeah, nothing out here. A little bit of water. Okay, so... Am I missing something here? Because we didn't find any more buttons. Hmm. Ouch. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's... Uh, that's where we came in at. Let's go this way again. Okay, we climbed up that wall. If I, there's a wall over that way. Here, let's drop down here. Oh, wait a minute. That's, yeah, we've already been out here, right? Yeah, I'm a little corn fuzzled. I think we went out here too. Oh, no, we didn't. We did not go out here. Copper arrows, baby. Does that mean I can finally make those now? Crafts people. A uh, hunter. No. Workshops. Hunter. Arrows. It's weird because it, it unlocked copper poison arrows because I found the poison sack, but it didn't unlock copper arrows themselves these are exp uh, no these are flare arrows okay well we still I'm sure have to do some more questing or something for that um, I'm just trying to look through there to see if there's anything All right, let's go back this way This is where we came in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. Can't quite reach it. All right, we'll just use an arrow then. Okay, I got the next one done. always important to remember to look up in these kind of games um all right which way did we go to where we found that climbing wall I don't remember thanks right here Okay, let's go back up up here and remember to check behind us too let's go 
back this way. We found that chest in there. Hmm. That button off to the right of the screen to my left is the one we just shot. Which we probably could have, could have activated it from... Oh, there's the button right there. Okay. So now we know where it is. We just got to figure out how to get over there. Okay, well, this has taken me too long to figure out. So I'm going to cut the camera. And when I figure it out, I'll bring you guys back and show you how I figured it out. All right, guys, I just found some copper blocks. And then unlocked some blacksmith recipes. Chain lightning and alchemist. I thought we already knew that. Uh, copper block at workbench. Hopefully this unlocks the copper arrow for us. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I just came around this corner and I found that there. Um, I'm still... I still haven't figured out how to get the hell up there, though. It is definitely not obvious, or maybe it is obvious and I'm just completely missing it, which is probably what the case is. Alright, well anyway, I'll keep looking. Alright guys, I am still completely stumped, but I have an idea as to how we might be able to do this. What I'm going to do is get the bow ready, sidestep to the right, and then try and shoot that thing and then get back out of the spikes. All right. Here we go. Did I get it? I got it. Okay, I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do this, but I couldn't figure out any other solution. So I just couldn't figure out how to get the hell up there. So if uh, that is not the correct way to do that, let me know in the comments. Um, because I'm, I'm just, I, I just could not figure out how to get up there. I really couldn't. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's move on to the next level. Okay, got some salt there, nothing over here, got more zappity zaps going on that way. Okay, so we need two buttons to open this up. Um, Well, there's one right there. Really? Okay. That was easy enough. Well, at least for the first part, anyway. Okay. Um. I want to see... All right, so if we really cut hard to the left, we should be able to make it through here. Okay, that door opens. We've got some more bricks. And we got a chest. More copper arrows. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I'm still on... Yeah, I'm still on scrap arrows. Okay. Keep looking up. door opens. Before we go through it, though, that door opens also. Alright. Nothing that way. Let's go through this door first. And we have a couple of stairs and a gold chest. Oh, arsonist bow. Um, <clears throat> all right. So this is 17 power. That's 15 power. But this is a level 13 bow. It's going to have backstab damage, critical hit, mana leech, and piercing. Um, <clears throat> does it not? Does it not do any fire damage though? 
It's also a short boat, so it's going to have a faster draw speed. And no stamina cost. 17 power. Yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty convinced this is definitely an upgrade. Um, but we'll have to wait till we get back to, to upgrade it. Okay, cool. Um, anything behind here? Uh, it doesn't look like just jars. Okay, let's go up the left stairwell here. And there's a button right there. Look at that. Two buttons, in fact. I guess to open that door, eh? Uh, let's use our wand on this one. And actually get it to hit. Is that really out of range? Hmm. Doesn't like it. Makes you wonder what you'd do if you didn't have a bow. Okay, so that opens this door. Before we... Before we go all the way up, though... Let's go back this way for a second. Didn't we... Okay, no, we came through this way. And we came through this way and opened this door. So where does that go? I think that just goes back around. Yeah, that just that just goes back around to where we came through. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, now we got a zappity zap room. Ooh. Oh, I guess that's not going right over the top of this. I thought it was. <laughs> I was going to say, how does that work? <laughs> <coughs> and we've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it to the top of the Rebel Wood Spire. And boom. Commune with the flame. The undergrowth of the Rebel Wood hides madness within. The elixir's cradle, the rot, root of rot, the seed of insanity. A labyrinth of mal malady and disorder nestled in the boss cat's heart. Okay. Very cool. All right. What uh, we have we have a little bit of time. I'm just looking to see if there's any chests. If there are any chests up here, I'm not seeing that. Um, what I'd like to do is let's go back to our journal here. I'd like to find these new building blocks here. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just um, got a text from Newegg that some PC fans that I ordered just came in, so I have to go grab them. Um, all right, yeah, so let's see. I mean, I don't have no idea, you know, how long this quest is going to take, but hopefully it won't be too long. So let's, let's do this next before we wrap up today's episode and uh, show on map. So... We should be able to glide right on over there. And we also there's also a quest at the carpentry camp too, so let's do this. Um also I'm gonna take my uh well let's take those two buff foods for now and then we'll do the honeycomb. Hopefully right before we get started in a uh, in a kind of a fight. Okay, here we go. I'm really looking forward to hanging out in Revelwood and do some exploration here. It's just kind of a neat place. Uh, what's that? Hazelnut. A wolf. Oh, is this amber? It is. Nice. Okay, we needed that. Very nice. A wolf den with no wolves. They must be out hunting or something. A little bit of a drop off there. Oh, also, um, hold on. These guys are level 13 enemies, so I gotta 
Got to be careful. Um, what I was going to say is that I found out how to get mycelium. You just mine this shit. There we go. Because uh, we need we need a bunch of this for um, the flame, the next flame upgrade, I think it is, or and or maybe for a recipe that I'm wanting to get. All right, that's enough of that for now. Um, and actually, I could and probably should go mine that in the, the lower level area. Just about took him out before he got to us. All right, so we are in Diadwin. And we're looking for a new kind of block. Oh, there's some more of those mushroom, walking mushroom guys. There's something down here. Just rats, but higher level rats. Oh, yeah, I've seen these little places before. They're just kind of little dugouts. With some nails. Nice. <clears throat> um, yeah, I guess we'll grab that stuff. Go in here. All right, what does the quest actually say? Carpenter left building blocks in Diadwin. Find the location and pick up the blocks to obtain a new building material. Okay. So we're just supposed to find them and pick them up. Okay, my dodge isn't working right. I mean, it's working. It's on the default because I started, you know, with the new computer. I had to reinstall everything. Oh, man, that's going to get me killed. <laughs> All right. Oh, he did. Okay. Okay, hold on a sec. I need to uh, fix that because... You know, muscle memory and all that, right? Controls. There we go. Now we can fight here. Got him. Okay. Oh, that's a new creature. It's a deer with some humongous ears. Uh, what's this? Ah, oh, forest beat. Nice. We needed that too for um for something. <laughs> for something else we need to craft. Okay, good. Glad we found that. Let's top this off. All right, we already know all of those plants. There's a chest. There it is. All right, half timbered block. Timbering is an ancient building technique that was very popular for its decorative effect. Nice. What a hovel, I thought. Bunch of bandits, rot crooks and halfwits, itching to shank over another over a game of cards. This crew is rowdy, but a few days of digging in the mine, mellow even the toughest of brigands. A single promise binds us together. Elixir for all. I hope Samoth is a man of his word. All right. Yeah, we heard about that Samoth guy um, before. Okay, cool. So we found Forest Beats 
And we found the new block. Um, just looking to see if there's anything else interesting in this place before we wrap things up. Oh shit, we got these. You guys gonna come after me or what? Ah, oh, dang. Okay. Got him. Okay. Lots of hogs around here, but that's that's a good thing. It's just lots of game raw game meat. Okay, um, why do I have a feeling like there might be something important right here? I have no idea if there is or not, but we're just going to dig in the mud for a second. Uh, if there was something here, we probably would have found it by now. That's my guess anyway. Oh, we got one of you. Oh, there's more farmland here with a bunch of hazelnuts. That's cool. And the backpack is full. We can get this anywhere. Let's get rid of that. Uh, that's pretty common. That's pretty common. And the wax is too, but I kind of want to keep the wax. Um, all right. Let's see here. Look at the requests. There was something else close by here. Oswald Anders chest. Just right over here. Let's grab that really quick and then we'll uh whoops. No vomitous. My light's about ready to run out too. He killed this guy. Oh, no, he didn't. He's still alive. Out of space. There's another bad guy over here. I know. Don't worry if you can't see anything, because I can't either. I don't even know what's chasing me. Here. This doesn't give quite as much light, but we can keep it out and... Fight. That glowing green thing is probably not very friendly at all. I'm not even, I don't even. Oh, that's a, a walking mushroom. Okay. If we're going to find Oswald and Anders chest, we're going to need to make room. So, you know what? We can get rid of one shroud juice. Um, we can get rid of those. Those are easy to come by. Let's drink that. And while we're at it, let's replenish our other two buff foods. That is a mushroom guy, right? Yeah. Okay, so that gives us um, a couple of spots. Now, let's see if we can find this chest. Carpentry camp reached. What is that? Oh, it's just stone. It looked, it looked green like it was something weird. Oh, why not? Let's sleep. All right. What is that? An experience scroll. Nice. Find the lost equipment chest. Okay, that was not the lost chest, but that was that was a nice find, though. It's the first time I've seen one of those. The most different experiences gathered and described on a scroll. Gain a small amount of experience when 
upon absorption of the content. Okay, I guess we got some XP there. Oh. Is this chest in here? No, oh, it's just a a den. A den for the dudes. Um alright, let's let's look at this again. The equipment chest was taken and sub subsequently lost by Cade Hawthorne. Reach his former camp and unearth the equipment. Oh, unearth. Okay. So we gotta dig for it. Oh. Right here in the rubble. Yeah, so I got to remember that. When it says, when you have quests for digging, it's generally going to be rubble that's going to, you know, uh, hide it. Twin Soul Mace. Level 13, 29 damage. All right, that completes the quest. Look at that thing, you guys. It does 29 damage, and it has four upgrades. I think we just found a new one-handed weapon. It's going to suck getting rid of this for the light effect, but, you know, we're already kind of outgrowing this. Very nice. Okay, that was worthwhile for sure. Indeed. Let's go back home. I want to upgrade this, the new bow and the new uh, mace here. And then uh, we need to wrap up this episode. Okay, so let's go talk to you. Enhance equipment. Arsonist bow. Now if we compare that with our wolf snarl bow. Oh, wow. Okay, so this turned out with the same exact overall damage. Its advantage is no stamina cost and a faster draw speed. But otherwise, pound per pound, it does the same exact damage. So yeah, why don't we why don't we use that for our our, our main bow? This one is a lower power backup bow. So we'll salvage that. And yeah, we'll give that a try. Okay, now let's go talk to you. Uh, what is it? Um, hey! Yeah, we'll we'll do those quests later. Let's go enhance equipment and twin soul mates. Anything else? Okay, now if we uh, compare these two, so this does thirty-five damage. A huge amount more damage than the sword. The only bad thing about this is it's a hundred percent blunt. So if we ever run into anything that's uh, immune to blunt or you know resistant to it, then that could be a problem. But man, anything else, this is just gonna kick the crap out of them. So what I think I'll do is I think I'll keep this as a backup. And I think we're done with this guy. So let's salvage it. Excellent. Okay, those are some nice upgrades. Um, one last thing I want to do before I let you guys go is let's... Do I not have anything in here? Oh, yeah. We got camel meal seeds. And I want to plant these beets so we can get started with those because... Was it the beets that we needed for the the large health potion? We needed something. No, it wasn't that. It was flask. Yeah, this flask of the fell. I want to get this because um, 30 minutes of plus 20 stamina. And it was the forest beets that we were missing. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, right here. Duh. Sorry. I was looking for the wrong thing. Oh, so it needs soil instead of water. Everything needs soil and water. I don't understand why 
Uh, it's just just the way the game works, I guess. <laughs> it's still kind of weird, though. Okay, so soil and beet. And there we go. And then we can do another seedling here. And then that's all we got until I can um, find some more of those. Beet seedling. There we go. Nice. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's going to wrap up this episode here. And... Um... I, I'd kind of, I mean, I'm kind of a completionist. In other words, I'd like to maybe finish up these quests before we take new ones. Like, he's got some new ones for us. Um, and it looks like he's got a new one for us, too. But, yeah, let's let's see if we can wrap up these other quests first before we, before we take on uh, those guys. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did... Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice bow. Didn't even pay attention to what it looked like before. Very cool. Um, share out the video and all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.